Hello, welcome back. I'm Bonnie. This is another one of our member highlight series. And today we're talking to David Tosca. How are you doing, David? I'm good. I'm at home at my workstation. This is where I do my programming. That's awesome. And you're in Norway, right? Yeah, I'm in Bergen in Norway. So we're like almost neighbors. I really want to visit Norway and I was planning to and then this whole, you know, global pandemic thing happened. But after if it clears up and we're able to travel again, I might have to come and see you because uh, I really want to visit Norway. I've heard it's really beautiful. Mm, I have to warn you, though, this is the most rainy part of Norway. That's what this uh, city is famous for. All it's right. It's in uh, seven uh, mountains. So when the, um, when the sky needs to go over the mountains, it has to drop some rain. Must be. Yeah. Well, we're in the Netherlands, so we're getting a lot of rain. We love it. It's cool. okay. <laughs> okay, so I met you uh, in the uh, in the architect course, and uh, I thought you were really cool. And we've been uh, talking a bit on Angular Nation, and I I've been interviewing people because I just want you know some of these people to get to know each other because I'm meeting so many cool people that don't know each other, and so mm -hmm. I just have like I don't know half a dozen questions, uh, and uh, so. We'll just start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want, wait, before we do, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Is there anything that you want to, or you just want to jump in? Uh, well, I'm David. I'm uh, 45 years old. Um, I have a quite uh, different past. Um, I've been in prison for a long time, like uh, 13 years. Uh, so I came out like three years ago. And um, I started programming while I was in prison. Um, I uh, but I really got, started going with Angular and when I was really 2018. Yeah. So. So I I met you and I had no idea. I had no idea anything about that because I just met you as a, as a developer and we were talking about Angular stuff. And, uh, mm -hmm. and it was when I started saying, I think that you should, because you're like the Angular lead in your company and you're, uh, asking really great, great questions. And so I was saying, like I say to a lot of people, you should be involved in the community and let's see you speaking at meetups. And that's when you told me about the background. And I have to say, I really yeah. have a lot of respect for the fact that you were upfront about it because I had no idea and I would never have known. And I'm sure it's hard to, uh, to put that out there. So then can you tell us a little bit about how you, like, how did you transition? Was there, was there somebody that helped you? Like, was there somebody that, or like, how did you make that change when you got out to, to get to where you are now? Because now you're a senior developer, right? You're doing some really cool stuff. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I what don't happened know. in the last yeah. couple of years? Um, what happened? I was uh, taking a, a bachelor degree in computer science while mm -hmm. I was in prison, um, and um, then I was started on my uh, master uh, in computer science. But I was so caught up uh, with these online tutorials. That were more about building stuff, and it was really most importantly Jeff Delaney, the Fireship uh, courses. Jeff Delaney and, is uh, awesome, and he said something about if you want to build a product, uh, he was really standing behind this uh, tech stack with Firebase and Angular, and um, yeah, and I had this idea of something I wanted to build, um, and I didn't feel like I learned that at school. It was too theoretical. So I tried to do both, but then I just got uh, frustrated. So I found out now I just, my heart is there now. I want to follow this path and focus on it and um, not be jumping to all kinds of different technologies. And I wanted to focus on something in fresh part. Yeah. So I've been uh, doing uh, Angular and um, try to learn TypeScript uh, really good. Uh, I hope uh, on just pure TypeScript too, and uh, RxJS. It's been a, uh, a boundary to learn. Yeah, RxJS was difficult for me in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a lot of visuals that helped me a lot, but it, it was it's. I was doing Angular for a couple of years before I really understood RxJS, and I was doing RxJS for a while before I understood RxJS. Yeah. <laughs> Even I started using it, and I didn't know what I was doing. But it does get better. Uh, Okay, so was there anyone along the way who really helped you or made a difference for you in your journey that, that uh, a mentor or anyone who, who really was a significant helper for you? Uh, not Other than person. Jeff Delaney. Yeah, not huh? in person, but it was a lot of uh, these uh, online resources. 
yeah. speakers online. Mm, like uh, Jaffa Hussain, he used to work at Netflix. He had yeah. a really great course on um, uh, Frontend Masters. I actually saw a lot of good content there. And um, yeah. uh, that was, uh, I think, Lucas Rubelke was doing no. that. He's really cool. No? Yeah, I saw his courses too. But I was yeah. talking about uh, RSJF. Yeah. There's an RSJF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really old. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's many. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what What do you like to listen to when you code? Do you have a programming playlist? I've gotten no. some very surprising answers on this one. No. I never listen to I'm... anything. Really? No music. Just quiet. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, how about strategies for focus when you, do you ever have days when you're just not feeling it or you're working on something tedious or, uh, difficult and you can't focus? Do you have strategies that help you get through those days? Uh, actually, uh, I usually take a break then if my head is really not there because I felt like I've done some negative work. So then I go outside and work in the garden, do some digging and, <laughs> something physical. Uh, I used to walk in the mountains. Um, yeah, because we have a mountain right outside the door. Wow. Um, yeah. You so, have a mountain right outside your door. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? You need to send a picture. Okay. <laughs> I think that is such a good strategy. And it took me a long time to figure that out because yeah. I, I used to get stuck and discouraged and confused. And I would just sit there longer. Like I have to finish this task mm -hmm. before I can go. And it would just be horrible. And mm. I learned over time and experience not to do that anymore. So that's really good advice. Okay. Uh, so what do you really like working on? What's your favorite thing to nerd out? Is there like a thing that you really enjoy that's just fun for you? Mm. I don't know. I, uh, I like to think about architecture stuff, where to put things and um, TypeScript getting good type signatures on uh, functions and generic, um, yeah, components uh, and uh, inheritance and try to find the balance, not overdo it. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was first moving from AngularJS to the newer Angular and TypeScript, and mm -hmm. I really had a lot of joy because the code was just so clean and it's really lovely. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Flip side, uh, what do you struggle with? Is there anything that just you don't like that you have to do or that you're not good at? Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what is my go-to strategy for state management. Uh, at the moment, I'm using services. I and I, I've come a long uh, way with that because my application hasn't been that complicated yet. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to figure out what's the right way to do it and uh, yeah and i'm awesome. also thinking about when to create objects with new and when to just have like object literals because i feel it's like um you have to pay a penalty every time you write new because then you need to like serialize it you uh, store it to the database so i try to only use object literals uh, for as long as possible and um yeah you should create a post about this on angular nation okay it's a very good topic yeah and we can have further discussion and for state management i always say keep it simple for as long as you can and then yeah. introduce the complexity as it's oh thank you samantha just brought me coffee hi david hello sam said hi uh okay Next question. Okay, let's talk about work. Well, we're talking about work, but let's talk about... Oh, I got coffee. I'm so excited. Uh, how do you define job satisfaction as a developer? Um, what makes you feel fulfilled? Like, you did a, like you're happy at the end of the day? Um, right now, I'm working on a startup project. So we can... You don't have to work with all code. You have to figure it out yourself. And I really like that. And uh, I also, I'm not in a hurry, so I can take time to figure out the right solution, do it over. It's not like I have this very high pressure about uh, 
delivering all the time. So, That's really um, nice. Yeah, I like that because I want to figure out what's the right way to do solve this problem because I think that will it's, a, it's an experience I can take with me to the next project and uh, then go straight to the best, a better solution. And not just getting it ready. I've written some of my best code when, yeah. huh? And not just uh, having something ready to ship as yeah. soon as possible. Yeah. I've written some of my best code when I have a task, but I actually have time to, you know, mm -hmm. polish it and make it look the way I want it to. And the code is really nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you working on now? What does the future hold for David Tosca? What Are, are you uh, available? Are you working? Are you... At the moment, I'm uh, working on a client project. Um, uh, we're developing an um, uh, application for um, uh, doing diagnostics uh, on um, like depression and anxiety and stuff like that. Um, and I'm working on a builder, uh, like an admin application for building those uh, surveys. It's like a dynamic um, questionnaire, kind of. But you can have like rich media, like video and uh, audio to help you out. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, do you have any plans for, uh, I think we, we talked about maybe uh, doing a meetup or something like that. Are you thinking about, are we going to see you somewhere? Yeah, maybe. I'm open for that. Um, I was sort of thinking about topics that I'm interested in that I haven't seen too much around. Um, there are smaller topics. I think like for the moment I'm investigating or playing around with getters and setters uh, in um, TypeScript and uh, when, when to use them, when to only use like a normal property. I'm using getters for like uh, almost like selectors on class where you have the right state that you can access like a property. So I think this would make a very good talk. When okay. I started out uh, doing talks, I really, I did talks about the things that I struggled with, the things that I found confusing, and mm -hmm. then I would figure it out and then make it into a talk and teach it to other people. And it seemed to work well. So I think that would be, that would be a good talk. And TypeScript, I mean, there are a lot of, uh, because the talks don't need to be even advanced. And this is like the mm -hmm. basic stuff that uh, uh, is very helpful for a lot of people, I think. And TypeScript yeah. is one of them. So, yeah. Because I think the getters and setters are really powerful. Because then you can do custom logic when people are either getting your values or setting your values. Absolutely. So then you, can, um, then you can update other stateful properties in your components or classes when something changed. Uh, so I'm using getters now for when I'm deriving state from other properties. So then we can right. calculate yeah, in the getter. Well, I think that should be uh, that should be a talk. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's all the questions we have for today. I'm going to send you the calendar. I would love to see you uh, do a talk for us on NG Houston. You can come and teach us something. And I really want to thank you for your time today. It was really nice talking to you and hearing your story. Okay. Thank you too, Bonnie. Bye. Bye-bye.